What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to check out Curiosity Sol 2801. Now, if you were to look up the Sol 2801 on the NASA page, it is mostly black and white, a grid pattern put on over these photos. Now, Neville, uh, thank you, Neville, for doing these panoramas, by the way. Neville did a fantastic job. He usually gets them from the PDSs, which is a lot better and a lot clearer quality, right? Problem with it is, like I said, they're the finished product, and they take out half, if not all, of the anomalies that are in these. However, you can find some crazy stuff. Let's just jump right into this. I think you're going to find this really wild. All right, here it is right here. It's quite a pretty good size gigapan. And, of course, you guys will get the link to this so you guys can check it out yourself. All right, you can see it right here is uploaded of July 6th, 2020. Okay, so this is the area we're going to look at. Now, I showed this yesterday on the live feed that I did. This here is a little bit different angle, but we looked at this here. I don't know how anybody can look at it and say, that's a mountain. You got this, what looks like this uh, arrowhead kind of thing sticking out of the ground. And you can see it right here. It's very faint here, but here it is. And, of course, we have here. Now, I always look for lines and faded out lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple little things, and then I'm going to show you the fully enhanced. Now, here's the thing. See all of this like peachy color stuff on here? This is an overlay. And what they do is they try to put it over anything that is of any value or that may give away that this was structures or some kind of intelligently made objects from a civilization on Mars at one point, right? Notice how you can see this darker area, very faint, goes like this here and comes around this left corner. See this right here? Okay, look at the pink or the peach color put over it. It's to hide everything. Now, when I enhance it, it's going to look like all one big item, but it may not be. It may be caused by the actual manipulation overlaid. However, you can bring the lines out. Check this out. I'm going to put this right in the middle of the page. Do you see this almost looks like this arch feature? Okay. And then you get one that's smaller in the center. It looks like it's echoing the same thing. Now, keep in mind, we're looking at a pan which we're online and it's not the best quality. So let me take you into Photoshop and show you that it's actually clearer. It's kind of like using Windows Photo Viewer. It's not the best quality until you bring it into like Photoshop and then you can see better features. Again, let's just jump right into it. All right, here it is here. And again, you can see these lines. This is what stuck off of me and I'm just going to show a couple things. And then again, I'm going to show the full enhanced. Check this out. You can see this doing this. You don't really see the top of it, but you will going down like this, and in the very center, you have something that echoes the same thing. And of course, this does actually come down, and it does like this here. But there's other features in there which I did not see, and you'll see that in a moment. This here, doing this, going over here. Now keep in mind, guys, this is just freehand. Now, that's what stuck out for me right there. You can see over on this side, this is pretty cool. This side, is, it like speaks volumes. Now, I've done this area before in a prior video, but didn't bring out the actual details like I do in this one. Why? Because every time they doctor an upper area, it changes a little bit. And then sometimes you get lucky and find some pretty crazy stuff, right? So if we were to look at it from here, see it is going down. I thought it stopped right there. You got this other feature that's round. See this? That's not going to be 100% wrong. Again, I'm doing it freehand. This area right here. And then we've got these other pieces. You won't see this very good until we actually enhance it. It's almost like, I can see the outline. It almost looks like it's oval. It's going like this here, but it kind of stops right there. Notice the lines. You can see the lines right here. Very faint. Oh, folks, the stuff that's in this photo is absolutely amazing. Notice how you got this piece going down like this here. I don't even know what to make of that. But notice the actual whiter pots or the peachy color doing that. And here's another large area of doing the same thing. Now, why would they do this if there's nothing here to see? They're literally putting over a dock area here, dock area on the right, and look at this. What, what's going on here? I mean, right off the bat, though, I mean, you could look at this photo right here, and like I said, look at the way they did this. 
it's got this weird opening type thing. There's so many features in here, but that's what caught my eyes right here. I'm gonna put her again right there in the middle, right here. This what looks like a tubular thing here. And of course you have this arch shaped piece. And again, I'm doing that kind of sloppy now because I'm just, I'm just redoing it, but you get the idea. And like I said, folks, all I gotta do is look at some of these other pieces back here. Look at the lines and the peach overlay. This is important too. See this piece right here. Nice line coming down. It's just a random line. How is this possible? Something at the top here, this peach color. Let me back out. You got areas like this. What looks like a rectangular outline of something. You can see that right here. But they want you to believe this is all natural, folks. Just look at this. Does that look natural to anybody? Okay, with that being said, let's just jump right into the fully enhanced and watch what happens. Again, keep in mind, this is all going to look like one piece here, right here. Now, if only 1% of the parts we're going to find in here is real, that's all it takes to say, hey, this is absolutely something else other than buttes, mountains, uh, whatever they want to call them. It's more than just that. Okay, let's just jump right in. All right, so now when you back up, it looks like a bunch of spaghetti, right? Let's have a closer look. This area here I showed, it's very faint, but you'll be able to see it. Coming down. Then you have another one right here doing the same thing, coming down, going like this. Now, if you notice, it, it kind of continues on. Let's have a look. It's right there. I can see this right here, but you don't see the rest of the other lines. It's the reason why you go, oh, it's just one continuous piece. Is it? No, it's not. You can see that right here. Other parts here. And of course, you can see these weird parts. Now, keep in mind, I did say that we don't know if this is way behind this piece here. So now when we actually enhance this, we still have this peach right here to actually make it look like it's all one piece, which I don't believe that it is. There's lines under this peach color. That's what you have to keep in mind. And those are the things that are coming out. So here we are right here. Here's that line showing you right here. Now we'll go ahead and go to the original. It's right there, folks. Same thing with up here. Lines are here. And there's another one actually behind it. But you can see that top here. See that? The one that really stuck out for me, which I really found was interesting, was this area over here. This right here is what I was showing you earlier. Right here. This is that tube type thing right here. Right here. Actually, it looks like it's kind of doing this. It's going across just like this. And then we have this other piece here. Okay, you can actually see a real faint line, but let's say it's not. Let's say it's not even there. Maybe it got decimated when they had these wars. But look at the inside. I showed you just this. And I only showed you this because I did not see the rest of this. Check this out. There's something of some kind of weird design going around this thing. Looks like it may start there, but I'm not sure. But what is that? You can see that here in the photo. It's right there. Well, the tube thing, whatever the heck that thing is. And of course, we have this arch-shaped item right here. Okay? All right. Back it out. This area here on the right really blew me away once it was done. Okay. Now, to me, I'm not seeing anything here that's natural. We can go like this, and I can still see these lines pretty darn easy if you've got a high definition monitor. I can see them pretty well. And again, I'm not doing these perfectly straight, but you get the idea. Doing this. And again, this one looks a little bit bigger. It's kind of like doing this. It's kind of like an oval. I can see that there. We have this piece coming down, straight down. And again, you don't know what this even looks like. It looks like it just stopped right there. I didn't think nothing of it. We have this round piece here. You can see that. Okay, and then I was like, okay, I guess it ends there. Until you bring out all the lines. Here's that circle. 
going up like this. I thought this ended right here. It does not. It comes down and does this here. And again, look how thick this thing is, too. Like I said, folks, even if there's 1% of this whole photo was real, that's all you need. This piece here, notice this right here? This angle piece here? Okay. Here it is. There's that piece. And, of course, you can see right there. Keep an eye on it. Right there. You got this piece right here doing this. Keep your eye on it. Very faint. See that? Right here. You can see that. This stuff is in the photo, folks. This stuff I showed you up here. I want like this. And you can see the actual manipulation, by the way. You can see it right here. You can see from here, down here, to up here, it changes. And you can actually see the line, by the way, right here, doing this. Okay? You see it's more gold color. Up here, it's more of a whiter. See that? Again, hide the lines. Nobody's none the wiser. This is that area I showed you right here where it shows that peachy color and this white out area to hide whatever is here. It's right there, folks. You see that pretty darn well coming down. See that? Now watch. Keep your eye on those lines. If you have to put your finger on the screen so you know exactly where that line is, there it is. You can see the line, very faint outline, but we blasted through it and brought the lines out. What all this stuff is, folks, I have no clue. Like I said, if you only get 1% out of this, that's not a manipulation out of the 99%. You know as well as I do, folks, these are structures. They are not mountains, buttes, or anything silly crap they want to call these. I don't think that's the truth at all. I think what we're seeing here are structures all over this Martian surface, and you're seeing bits and pieces of it through manipulation. Let's go from right to left. Have a look at it with your magnifiers. Again, a lot of these lines are, in fact, there. Down here, it just gets worse. You can see all this other manipulation and the fact that it got really light over here. Go back over a little bit. It looks like a bunch of structures to me that are still A, intact, Maybe overgrown with growth. And this is the reason why there's a lot of distortions as well. Or it's been war torn. Other bodies coming from space and hitting Mars, which at one point I believe it did. And then, of course, we had these two nuclear explosions said to have happened in the lower atmosphere of Mars. We don't know. Pure speculation. But we can try to put the pieces together, right? And there you go, folks, right there. That, to me alone, says volumes. But there you go. Folks, when I first saw this photo, I was like, oh, my God, I laughed so hard. I, it was not even funny. I'm going, who painted this? Some children in kindergarten? Who did this? Nobody in their right mind would look at that and say that looks natural. No way. No how. So you got to read between the, not the lines, but the manipulation. And then just, you know, like I said, you try to make heads or tails, which part is the actual clearest, meaning... What may be objects and anomalies being exposed in that photo, that's what we need to bring out. So like I said, only if 1% of that and the rest of it was garbage, I don't care. To me, some of them objects in there scream intelligently made that there was, in fact, a civilization on Mars. As always, guys, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got more coming up. Stay tuned. More and more wild stuff. As always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.